Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Now today I'm going to do a guide on locating all the different mainframe cores when you're in any of the nuke silos. So this video is going to supplement the video I have on I have become death if you're trying to get that mission done or just in general if you happen to be in a nuclear silo and you're looking for all these mainframe cores. Now you can repair some of the damaged ones but if you need to look around for them then I'll show you the path that I take and where they tend to spawn. So I'm very, very meticulous when it comes to searching. So I kind of come around here and we're going to have to deal with spawning enemies as we move. And I've taken three different captures from three different runs because they do spawn in different locations each time. So I think I've covered the majority of locations. And in two out of three runs, I actually find 15. Now there's one run where I only I came up short, I only found 12 uh, spawned in, or at least 12 that I could find. So I just repaired um, three, I'll show you how to do that as well. So I kind of come around from the computer to the left and I come around this way first. You notice I'm looking on the ground and the shelves, I'm looking there, one, one tends to spawn there but it isn't yet, I'll show you that when it does later. One tends to spawn down here by the barrels sometimes, there's two here now. That's not typical, but we have two mainframe cores here on the shelf. So you get a good look at them and you get an idea of what it is you are looking for. I'm just double checking my work here as I tend to do. Now in around here to the bottom right of this crate, one tends to spawn every now and again. There's one right there. Let's just checking in between the crates as well. These are crafty little things. They can pop up pretty much anywhere. Here's another one nestled nicely between those two crates. Some boiled water there, I guess. There's one there, I've actually missed it. It's on my left, um, in behind that cr that top crate there. I've missed it this run. Sometimes that just happens. You're so used to just staring at this that you, you're staring right at one and you somehow still miss it. But that's okay. We still managed to get our 15 on this run. So there's another one. You know, just checking the area here as well. We come out the door, we take a left. You see I'm kind of going around the room clockwise. Uh, mini nuke there, I'll have that, absolutely. But no sign, oh. And we have a spawn in. These things do come at you. Every, every two or three minutes, they'll spawn back in. So you have to be aware of that. Uh, I'm just checking in behind that unit. Nothing there, nothing here. Um, occasionally one or two will spawn in this room. You just got to look for them. So in my runs, I will show you where they do spawn in. Now my first run might might be enough for you. Um, however, if you still want to see where some of the other mainframe cores may spawn, the different locations for the different runs, then you can watch the video through or you can just watch the first run. It is entirely up to you. Okay, so I check up top here. I used to come up here a lot and I started thinking that, do you know what, they just don't spawn here. And it was this run. This was the first time I ever found one up here. Um, I'd nearly given up. I'd, I'd nearly cut this part of the route out of my path for that simple reason that, you know, in the 20 or 30 odd times I've run this, there's never been anything up there. But what do you know, on this run, there was. So I've included it as a place to check and put on your route. On top of that barrel, um, that I just passed there. One tends to spawn. We'll be looking at that when one does spawn, so fear not. Just checking around this forklift as well. And we'll check over here. Now, one does occasionally pop up here as well. Just checking inside the bucket. You should check inside buckets and uh, crates and whatnot. Here's another one. And nothing there or there. So we head into this room. This is where the tinker bench is that you can actually repair some of the damaged ones. What you need to, there's one right there. Sometimes they can be upside down like that, so they're harder to spot. Here's one lying idly by. But you need circuitry and you need steel to repair them. So if you're low on that, the robots are sometimes dropping both circuitry and steel. So you kind of spot that, you pick it up, you break it down, and you can repair some. Now, let's see. Ah, there's one. Nearly went past that, but there she is. There she bees. Nothing behind that console. Going to check behind this as well. 
And at this locker, two out of three times, one will appear in my <laughs> calculations based on three runs. Um, over here behind this uh, piece of whatever it is, leaning against whatever that is, the shelf, one can be in there as well. I'll show you when it is. Okay, I think we've dealt with most of the enemies here. Just coming around and checking this shelf thing on this side as well. Now, before I go behind me, I'm going to check this area because I didn't check it as I was moving clockwise around and into that room with the tinker bench. I only checked the side that the tinker bench is on. I never checked this side, so I'm just going to have a quick look as well. Things do appear here from time to time. And the reason I'm so thorough, here we go, and you know, I'm inching through this is when I do one run, I want to come out with 15 cores. I don't want to have to run again thinking to myself, well, I know I've already checked everywhere, so you know, it becomes more, more of a daunting task at that point. So I just want to, I try to get all 15 where possible on the same run. So I take things nice and slow. So let's just come back. So seem to have killed everything. You'll see there's some steel on those robots there. Occasionally there'll be some military grade circuit boards or whatnot that you can break down to circuitry. If you want to finish this run, let's check the other side of these shelves as well. And now we're going to go back to where we were, where we came out by the lockers over here by this door that we originally entered the room in and we come across here. Now, sometimes there's one in here and there is today inside that box. Let's keep looking. Don't see anything there. No. Just double checking my work as I go. So next is inside this room. Oh, we took a few hits. I knew I could hear something. Oh, it's a lot of something. It's a lot more of something than I suspected. I thought there was a single spawn. I was not expecting this. Hi, guys. All right, let's go back to that room. Lights on. And up on this barrel, occasionally there will be one. Let's keep circling around behind this unit. Just checking behind all the units. Nope, thought I spotted one there. There's one upside down here. And there's another, wow, we got three in this room this time. Typically it's one, sometimes two. Oh, there's one just here. And let's just check in around here now, top and bottom. Top and bottom. No. So just around to this side. And there's none here. Sometimes there is. So now we hope and pray and see, did we get 15? That's the question. <clears throat> 12, 13, 14. And 15. Okay, so there's a typical run. We can uh, flip it now. And I'll just show you another run where they spawn slightly differently. Some in the same place, but some in other areas. So you'll start getting a feel if you're watching the second run. You'll start getting a feel for where these things can pop up. So I found one there just beside the console. Let's just drop these. Anything else I need to kill? Yes. All right. Mm. All right, nothing spawned here. No. Okay, so let's go back to our route here. Oh, hello. Checking top and bottom again. Again, I'm heading around the room clockwise. Still nothing here. Let's go down into the, the shelves down here. No spawns here either, just like last time. Down here. Last time one spawned to the bottom right of this uh, crate here. Nothing here this time. That's a shame. 
it looks like I'm just checking in between the crates here but it looks like this is going to be a bust this uh, bottom area so into the next room oh we have a spawn here we'll grab that in a minute uh, none behind that crate this though there is is there I think there was. I think I might have missed that again. Just re-looking at that now, I think there actually was one there. There's that one from last time here. Oh, another one here between the bin and the desk. Nothing else that I can see. Hmm. No, we need to collect this one here. Back, back, back. I forgot it. Wow. I didn't think I'd forgotten that one, but that's a miss for me. I might have missed two there on that run then. Righty. You see, you kind of have to be ruthless and meticulous to spot them. Just running around aimlessly. You'll still get them. It, you're just going to be a lot longer at it. Um, if you just know, know your route, just pick a route. If you're going to go clockwise around the whole place, then go clockwise. Then go back to the center areas to anything you missed and uh, be confident that you've cleared the room not just running around like a maniac not having a clue where you've been and thinking oh i think i've been here i've been in a room i don't know if it was this room let me just check it again and you wind up checking the same room all the time that's just my advice anyway all right will we check back up top again and around here and hey, nope Now, I don't think we're going to find anything. I think that last time I was up here was the first time I'd ever truly found something up here. So, it's just always, I've always included it as part of my route. And again, it was just the last run that it actually paid off for the very first time. On top of the barrel here again is another one, if we can grab it, which we can. Let's see. There he is. Oh, I missed this turn completely when I came in. My apologies. Nothing here that I can see. Let's just take out that guy as well. I'll start taking the, the steel scrap because I think I'm starting to feel now like I might need it. Oh, there he is. You can kind of hear these things creeping around and you're just waiting for them to show themselves. Okay, mainframe cores, mainframe cores. No, no, nothing has spawned here. Nothing under, nothing on top. I've, um, I've always, well, in most of my routes I've jumped up on top and checked. I've never ever found anything spawn on top. Still, I check it every now and again because Perhaps something will someday. Maybe it's a low spawn uh, point, but it could. So one up here, across from the bench. Nothing in the barrel. Look, a fire. So I'm pretty confident I won't get burned here. Nothing in the container, nothing on these barrels. Nothing around the bench. Nothing around the computer there. There's one over here again. Nothing behind this robot spawn point. Over here to the desk. Nothing in the bin. I don't think I've ever seen anything spawn in a bin, but I checked them nonetheless. Come out to the locker on our left is where we usually see a spawn and we don't see it this time. Okay, not to worry, these things happen. Let's um, clear up before we push on any further. Double checking my work. There he is. Still coming. There's an enhanced targeting card that will be handy for circuitry if I do end up needing to repair any to make up my 15. Mm -hmm. Nothing behind the lockers. Oh, 
Yeah, it's uh, pretty dry over here in terms of spawns. But we'll keep checking it nonetheless. We always do, I always, I always, I say we, I can't speak for you. I always do this route regardless, just in case something shows up. Which from time to time it does. Ooh, a yellow canister. How interesting. All right, I'm pretty confident there's nothing there. I'm just going to check this area as well before I flip back and continue my route. Turn and burn, as it were. All right, so I'm back at the locker area again. Let me check this. Down here again. Yep, there she is. I'll take that. Let's check the other side in case there was something we missed. After we deal with these. <coughs> Alright, over here. Anything in behind there? Nope. On top. Nope. Between the boxes on the ground. In that box, there's not one this time. That's a shame. Nothing in the bin. Not that I've ever found anything in there. Yet. Wasn't sure what that was. I knew it wasn't a core. Okay, up on this barrel over to the right. Nope, nothing this time. Nothing on there. Nothing behind there. Ah, here we go. Another upside down one. I think that. No, oh, there's the second. Okay, there's only two in here. We were blessed with three once upon a time, but now there's just two. Here's another one here again, just as we came out to the left. So we're nearly done with this route now. Oh, hello. He swiped and he missed. Oh, so unlucky. So unlucky. So, just at the end, you can get a bit excited and want to just kind of skip over all this. But again, I stick to my route every time. Apparently, two out of three times I score 15 or more. There's another one. Whoa. Nice. Sometimes one appears up there on the left as well. And that's it. Did we get the 15? Six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Nope. Don't get the 13. I got 12 out of 15. This was the run. I'm sure three. Now. They're there. I mean, enough spawn. I know, I clearly I've missed one or two in another room in retrospect, you know, looking back at it. That I should have been even more careful. But that's okay. You know, you come up short like that, we can dig into some of our scrap and repair some of the ones we took off the board originally. So that's absolutely fine. And as I said, you know, a lot of these... um. Where's that? Oh, there we go, another military grade circuit board. A lot of these robots are dropping the exact scrap that we need for repair, so you're never going to be stuck, is what I'm saying. Let's uh, get out of this power armor. And onto the tinker bench. So it's in under quest items, if, you, if you're not aware of that. You go to mainframe core, it needs two circuitry, one damaged mainframe core, and three steel per repair. So there's two, and there's three. And that's it. Now I have the additional three boards. So this is our third run. This is the final run. So we had a spawn right there again, right by the console when we started off. So let's clear up, and let's look at the remaining spawn points. go all right we're looking good nope we're not this guy like where do you come from? let's come let's walk through the door or something all right nothing over there none over here this time so we're heading 
looking towards the back here now. There's one up here. We can get it. That's awesome. Next. Oh, there's another one to our right. That's the only one here. Over here, down to the right of that um, crate, we'll call it. Fantastic. Any between? No, 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 no. Okay. So in around to this room, again, so we'll check around to our left. Armor workbench, that's the one I kept missing over here, it's not there now. Oh, here's what, an upside down one. That hadn't showed up for us in previous um, videos. Here's the usual one here. It seems to be consistently showing. Another one again, that's the second time it's appeared between the desk and the bench. I've also taken the telephone in case I need it because that's got circuitry. Oh, where'd you come from? So no sign of anything there. Gonna scrap everything, counting the circuitry that I got from that. Just keeping that in my head as I go. I'm just trying to prepare for the eventuality that I don't score 15 on a run. I don't do a second run. I just repair when I'm missing. Oh, so there's one up on the desk here. And we're getting shot at. Hey, boys. How you doing? Pretty slim pickings here in the room. <clears throat> right, just trying to trying to finish these guys up here, so we can continue the run. All right, hidden status is up, so let's check these shelves. There's one. Sweet. Much else happening that I can see. Around the bottom. There's one on the barrel again. Love it. Nothing there, nothing in there. Nothing between the boxes, but there's one around here just lying there. We'll take that. Absolutely. Alrighty, into the what we'll call the Tinker Bench room. Oh, there's some power armor there, so we can get a fusion core out of that. Not that I need one. Upside down board. Barrels. Take that one over there. Might take that biometric scanner as well. No, we don't look like we're in look with that desk, so the locker now? Hey, the locker one is back. Awesome. Ultron. I've never found one in any of the other lockers, just that first one. So if you do, then I'd be very, very curious. Do let me know. Nothing in between these boxes that I can see. One on the desk there. Is there one in the box? There is. Awesome. No, I don't think that's one. 
All right, we're nearly done with this final run. Power up our lights again. All right, there's one on the barrel again this time. None behind. Oh, hello. Nothing, nothing up on the workbench or whatever that is. Ah, we've got an upside downy one here again. Another one here. Alright, looks like we had a good run. So I'd recommend getting familiar with the room yourself. At least, you know, you can either do it counterclockwise or clockwise. Anything but just running around with no plan. And um, hopefully this video you find some bit useful in, in terms of recognizing the areas that they might appear. But once you start recognizing the circuit boards themselves and you know what you're looking for, then it becomes much, much, much easier. It really, really does. But yeah, this is what I've covered in all three of these runs are the spawn points that I go to where they typically show up. Everywhere else that I've been, I don't see them ever in any of my runs. So hopefully you found this some bit useful. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best. Thank you.